Patrick Georgian Pavlon says tonight she's relieved. A criminal complaint filed this week details the criminal charges she's been waiting a year for. She was a very caring, loving person. To see this happen to her just breaks my heart. Georgie Ann Pavlons knew something was wrong in September last year when she texted her daughter Stephanie about a package that was waiting for her. And didn't get an answer back. Well, she couldn't answer because she was already gone. Stephanie's body found decomposing in a wooded area near Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin along Gulf Road in the town of Delafield. That was September 9th, 2022. I I was just um, dumbfounded. Why so close to, you know, a place of business? Investigators say Matthew Paul, Pavlon's longtime boyfriend, had an appointment at that same doctor's office on August 23, 2022. The cell phones of both Paul and Pavlon's pinged that same area that morning, Paul arriving around 9.15. But prosecutors say he didn't check into his appointment until 9.34, leaving 16 minutes unaccounted for. A surveillance camera at the nearby Quick Trip also showed Pavlons getting in Paul's truck. It was the last time Pavlons was seen alive. Construction workers found her body 17 days later. After waiting more than a year for an arrest, Pavlons' mom says the medical examiner called her with autopsy results two weeks ago. They couldn't come to a conclusion on, on how she had died, that it was undetermined. It was the cause of death. I was uh, very, very nervous about that, and I called the detective, and uh, he says, no, we've got plenty. Well, Kendall, investigators also looked at Paul's cell phone search history. That's right, Patrick. Prosecutors say it showed he started searching websites for obituaries three days after Pavlons disappeared, but before her body was even discovered. Paul is charged with first degree, intentional homicide, and hiding a corpse. He's in the Waukesha County Jail on a $2 million bond. Kendall Keyes reports.